This video is to show how we set up a new tool on the robo drill. So, the way that we do it, because normally your screen is going to look like this, maybe this. You want to go to this quick and see button. You're going to go to the quick mode. And number one is tool change. So you hit one and then enter or input. Then you have two options, either spindle or exchange. So I'm going to open the door here. So if we wanted to put tool four in the spindle, then we would choose in the, in the spindle box, we would put number four, or there's an exchange pocket which allows you to put a new tool in here by hand. So uh, what we want to do is, is make our next tool be tool number six, in this case. So what we want to do is we want to say, hey, go put tool number six holder in the exchange pocket. So I'm going to arrow down once, and I'm going to type in a six for tool six input. And that's going to ask, hey, are you sure? Press OK. And that says, hey, hit the cycle start button. So that's what we'll do. And so now, you can't see it because our door is messy. Number six is in the exchange pocket. So now it's pretty simple. These holders don't have like a particular key, like one key isn't different than the other. You just need to make sure that that slot is uh, facing you. You slide it in like so, and then give it, I usually give it like a little twist, because if, if you get it wrong, it'll pop out when you twist it. So just give it a little twist. So now, we are going to get out of quick NC. We're gonna get, oh look, we're in MDI already. MDI, and then we need to be able to program it, so we're gonna hit the program button. And then we have a macro written called G150, and then T, whatever tool that you're interested in. So in this case, it's six. Can't read that. That's what I typed. And a block, input, and then you'll hit cycle start. Oh, uh, actually, hold on. We got to go to the offset screen first. Because for whatever reason, oh, look, it's already zero. If there's a number in here, the, the machine kind of chokes on the tool setting. I don't, I don't know why that is, but that happens. Anyway, it's already zero. If it weren't zero, we would make it zero. So then I'm just going to hit cycle start. It's going to go down and touch off that probe. Take a second. This tool is kind of stubby, so it uh, it's going to take a second. If it touches it once and goes back up, that's a clue that something went wrong. It touched it twice. Then, uh, I always like to go back to the offset screen and make sure that it recorded some length. So that makes sense, it's a pretty stubby tool, 3.8 inches compared to the drill and the tap before it are longer, which makes sense. Uh, so that is how it's done.